Hi, my name is Sabina Hakani, and I'm an associate here at Felstein Family Law Group. Today, I'll be discussing the subject of when a child refuses to have access with one parent. Your initial instinct in this situation as a parent may be to support your child in their decision, but it is important to keep in mind that your child's feelings may be complicated by feelings of loyalty to you as a primary caregiver. Your child may be avoiding the other parent to avoid difficult emotions that they're going through as a result of the separation, and it's important to help the child address these feelings rather than suppress them. It's also important for your child to have a relationship with both parents and for the parents to encourage a strong relationship with the other parent. You may want to ask your child what the problem is, as it may be something that can be easily resolved. For example, they may be frustrated by something trivial like having to take their personal possessions back and forth from one house to the other, or maybe they do not wish to go because the other parent has a new partner that resides in their home. The best thing to do is to engage in conversation with your child in order to determine and isolate the root of the problem. If your child is simply saying, I just don't want to go, the root of the issue may be your separation and trying to appease you. In this case, remind your child that you and your spouse separated because you were no, hap no longer happy together, but that you've not stopped loving them and that both of you are good parents. Depending on the child's age, sometimes it may even be necessary to push your child to spend time with your former spouse. Not doing so may result in claims of parental alienation being made against you in court. Further, counseling may be helpful for your child as they can speak to a neutral third party without feeling like they are having to choose sides. If you and your spouse cannot get along in front of your child, it may be impacting his or her feelings towards one parent. This is why it is so important that you refrain from making disparaging remarks to or about each other in front of the children. Rather, you should be making positive comments about the other parent in the presence of the child. Remember that the access parent can and may bring your behavior and your efforts at facilitating a relationship between the children and the other parent to the court's attention. Therefore, it is important that you do not negatively influence your child's feelings towards the other parent. For more information regarding parenting issues, please feel free to visit our website at www.separation.ca or call us at 905-415-1636 to schedule a consultation.